up everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel as you guys can see by the title i'm doing another reaction to breaking bad today episode six so i'm not gonna do a whole recap because i did just do one in the previous video at the end so there's really no point of recapping again okay i'm not gonna recap but just the main points of what happened in the last episode was that walter agreed to do the treatment his friend elliot offered to pay for the treatment but walter declined and he went back to jesse to you know start cooking again skylar set up a whole intervention to basically get walt into wanting to do the treatment and i guess it worked so i mean you know we should be happy but i feel like it's just gonna make him miserable that is basically it no more talking be sure to check out the community section on my channel so that you guys know what videos i'm posting and when i'm posting them yeah, let's get into the episode. Uh oh. That's what happens when you leave. It's not mine. Let's get something straight. This, the chemistry, is my realm. I am in charge of the cooking. Out there on the street, you deal with that. Uh oh. As far as our customers go, I don't want to know anything about them. I don't want to see them. I don't want to hear from them. I want no interaction with them whatsoever. Got any issues with that? Whatever, man. He's so mean to Jesse. Like, Jesse's my fave. No violence. Somehow I feel like that's just... Why is he bald? Oh my god, he shaved off his head? <gasps> Cancer is such a bitch. Have you been in touch with Elliot? Because uh, I haven't seen a check from him. Yeah, about yes, that. I, I got really? Last week, and I put it right into my credit union account, so hmm. I'm taking care of it. He lies too much. So we're good. We're good. Ah, oh, man. Ugh. See, that's exactly what he didn't want. You okay? I got it, Mr. White. Thanks, Hugo. Starting to lose weight, which is um, tough. When you don't let me in, when you don't tell me what's going on, I mean, it's like I feel like you don't even want me around sometimes. We home so late, and, and we're just left wondering where you are. Is there anything else? You're holding back from your family? Yep, I call crystal meth. I like to be alone. I mean, at times. And it's not about you. It feels better not to talk at all. That's understandable. Oh my god, Jesse still doesn't know. <laughs> oh god, you okay? Oh, oh. Sit down, get some air. <sighs> Oh god. When were you gonna tell me? Tell you what? Cancer. You got it, right? My aunt had one of those dots on her to target the radiation. What is it in your lung? I'm your partner, man. You should have told me. Well, it. finally. Not cool. okay, not at all. How bad was she when they caught it? I don't know if she didn't last long. I don't think that's what he wants to hear right now. That's why you're doing all this. You want to make some cash for your people before you check out. Next time, put an ice pack on your head during chemo. My aunt said it helped with the hair loss. Aw, at least he's trying to help. Back at this motel, ugh. Oh, this guy. What's this? Oh, the gas mask. That's the one we found way Forgot the about it. Outside. Property of J.P. Wynn Chemistry Lab. At the school. That's one school. Ooh, ooh. Business is popping. He's just going everywhere. That's crazy. We were supposed to start at three. Hey, I'm out there making fat stacks, man. Chill. Hey, prepaid cell phones. 26 big ones. Is that all? $26,000? Uh, no, that's 2600 Oh, God. Your share is 13 Minus 25 bucks for that phone. 
How much meth? Why don't you just sell the whole pound at once? To who? What do I look like, Scarface? This? I know a lack of motivation when I see it. Oh, oh God. Here we go. We need a distributor now. Do you know anyone like that? Yeah, I mean, I used to. Until you killed him. Yeah, it's not funny, but still. Who took Crazy Eight's place? Some guy named Tuco. Badass, from what I hear. Tuco. Okay, so you can just go talk to Tuco. This guy's OG. What? What, what does that mean? God, Jesus, Walt. Look, he's upper level, man. He's gonna do business with some dude he doesn't know. Well, who introduced you to Crazy Eight? Emilio, and that's only because I knew him from like third grade, and we can't talk to Emilio either. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm telling you, Mr. White, it's too risky. The way oh, it come is. Come on, Jesus! Just grow some fucking balls. That looks like it hurts. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah. Are you up for having a visitor? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hank. Chick's got an ass like an onion. Makes me want to cry. So. Makes me want to cry. I hate Hank so much. Well, I had some uh, questions I wanted to run by. Uh... Work related. Huh? Recognize that. Well, that was used to cook meth. Find it out on some Indian land about 40 miles from here. He's getting close. Well, I was hoping you could help me with that. Uh, we found it near an abandoned car. It belonged to one of our snitches. Well, yeah, one of our confidential informants. Went missing a while back. Uh, no body yet, but uh, we're pretty sure he's, you know. You mind if I uh, take a look at your store? Not at all. Can't be sus. Well, look, I know they're your students, but... Uh, do not underestimate them. Glassware looking a little sparse. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. They have a thousand milliliter round bottom. Shit, he's gonna catch uh, on, isn't he? Uh, speaking. A bad time to talk? Absolutely. Uh, so just listen. Tuco, turns out my boy Skinny P was in the same cell block with him over at Los Lunas. So we got her in. We're all on a... Oh, right shit. Now. Okay, then. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for calling. You gotta keep better watch over your turf. I, I will. We don't want people to start wondering about you, right? Hank. Jesus. Right. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> you no know, need, man. Me and Tuco go back. No, oh, he looks scary. Jesus. Is this your boy? Yeah, Jesse, the dude with the glass I was telling you about. Break out the ice. He won't. No worries, man. I'm no cough. Oh, God. <laughs> Booyah! Wow! <laughs> Would you get it? I cooked it. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Who are you working for? <laughs> no one, man. I mean, yeah, I have a partner that I cook with, but that's it. We got a deal. Oh, shit. I told you to go and hook you up. How much? 35 large for the pound. Oh, man. You're a little light, I said. <laughs> it's all right. Don't sweat. It's all good. This guy's clearing me out. Oh, Jesus. What about the money? You get it. This is a consignment operation. Oh, shit. You don't trust me? <laughs> no, no, hey, it's not, it's not that, man. It's just, you know, I don't, I don't do business that way. Oh, shit, the deal is done! Oh, God, Jesse. Come on. <sighs> Jesse's really doing all the work. Take it in. Looks like he has tinfoil in his teeth. Right. You brought me some really clean crystal. Do you really want your money in front? <sighs> okay. Well, thank you. I'll be going now. <laughs> what the hell? Don't 
do Jesse like that. Jesse's my boy. Don't mind if I call you Hugo. Hugo? Wait, what? Yeah, what do you got there? And Walt's not even gonna vouch for him because he can't even, he can't look sus. This isn't gonna make any sense to me at all. I, I don't understand. Where the hell are you? He got his ass beat. Can't answer the phone right now. Uh, Hank's about to deal. I remember you arresting Mr. Archuleta the other day. He's a pretty cool guy. Turns out he has a record. Yeah. A couple of possession beefs. Great. We figured he, he was the guy that was stealing your uh, your school's chemistry gear. So his truck, we found a big old fat blunt. A blunt, really? Yeah. Is weed illegal in the States? It's illegal no, here. Hugo just doesn't strike me as a thief. Yeah, well, <laughs> not the personal Walt, but uh, you wouldn't know a criminal if he was close enough to check you for a hernia. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. You're sitting next to him. You hiding something? No. <laughs> Poor Hugo. It's like a gentle you gonna giant. Man up, you gonna puss out? I wonder what's gonna happen when that. Hank like finds out that it's Walt though. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be crazy. Oh god, his hair. Okay, that's why he shaved his head. Gotcha. Hey, that's a Canadian drink, right? Who is this? I was dialing Jesse Pinkman. Well, where is he then? Yes, go get him, please. Oh my god, let me do that. You the guy? Yeah, I'm the guy. Who is he? Got some busted ribs and like that. I was all like, damn, to go chill, I say. No, you weren't. I don't know what got into him, seriously. Tell me about this Tuco. Yeah, well, I was gonna I fuck some people up. Huh? Ugh, I don't want to see no more puke. Ugh. Ugh. It's all yellow and red. Wait, he was peeing? Why is this pee yellow? And red, that's what chemo does? Holy shit. That's pretty fucked. I didn't even know that. I thought he was throwing up again. There's all the pills he has to take every day. Said he didn't want to take them. It's okay, he probably looked better bald anyways. Comes downstairs bald, yep. Nice. It actually looks better. She's so dramatic, like come on. Thank you. He looks 10 times more scary now. <laughs> I'm not even joking. He looks so badass now. I want to talk to Tuco, and I'm not leaving until I do. Well, he's gonna get it beat up now too, isn't he? It's gonna make him take a bump of it too. What's your name? Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? $50,000. <laughs> 35 for the pound of meth you stole and another 15 for my partner's pain and suffering. Well, maybe it doesn't work like that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I remember that little bitch. This guy's psycho. Okay, he's, he's getting up. Let me get this straight. I beat the piss! Out of your mule boy. And then you walk in here and you bring me more meth? <laughs> this is not meth. Ooh. What? Whoa. Jesus Christ. What if he snorted that? I give you your money. Really? That crystal that your partner brought me. 
It sold fat. You bring me another pound next week. Money up front. Damn. It's as long as we got an understanding. We're in business, guys. Look at this bald head. Oh my god, he's so psycho. Wait, what happened? Why is he growling? Is he happy or is he fucking pissed? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so that was Breaking Bad season one, episode six. Um, we're almost at the end of the season. I know it's only, like it's a short um, season. There's only seven episodes, but we're getting there. So that was a really good episode. So we figured out that um, Tuco is the person who took Crazy Eight's place. He's like the new, you know, uh, top guy, and he's like an OG. So he's like cuckoo bananas, and. Um, he is like he burned a cigarette out on his tongue that is who you know who does that who tell me walter skydler and walter jr are going to these cancer support groups i believe that's what they are that's what it looked like and um i think like skylar just needs to chill because like all these like this intervention in the last episode going to a support group like walter doesn't want to talk about it like he already agreed to do the treatment for you like just let him deal with that first he's only doing it to make Skylar happy so, so Walter's been obviously lying to Skylar about the money and um, where it's coming from well I mean now it's gonna be coming from the deal that Walter made with Tuco so I mean I guess that won't really be a problem until she starts asking questions which I know she will because Skylar is just she will Jesse also found out about the cancer because of um, the thing on Walter's chest. I don't remember. It's like a patch or whatever to, um, I think he said to tame the radiation, I believe. So yeah, he figured it out finally, like basically at the end of the season, but I'm glad that he knows now, you know? So it's just not, it's not just, it's not a secret anymore. It's just out on the table. Everybody knows. Hank is still investigating the whole, um, the site from like the first episode and everything what happened with Emilio and Crazy Eight and the gas mask. So we figured it out that it was from Walter's school where he teaches. I feel like Hank is like, Hank seems like he's really good at his job, like really good. And I think that he's gonna figure it out. I don't know when, but I feel like he's a little bit, I don't I don't think he's suspect of Walter yet, but like he's, he's gonna, like he's gonna figure it out. Like, I don't even know how to explain what I'm thinking, but. Like, the pieces are there, but he's just like, okay, no, I'm not even going to assume it's Walter. Like, he has so much going on right now. He has the cancer and everything like that. Like, he's not going to assume that it's Walt. I don't know. I have no idea, but the show's getting so good, and I really just want to, like, play the next episode right now. Jesse got beat up. I love Jesse. He's honestly my favorite right now. Like, I love him. And Walter shaved his head, and he looks so badass. I love it. I honestly do. It looks so good, and it just suits him. Yeah, those are really um the main points of what happened in this episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel make sure that you guys hit the post notification bell so that you never miss an upload and i promise since it's like the last episode of the season i will try to get another breaking bad episode out asap yeah make sure that you guys check out the community section so that you guys know what videos i'm posting and when i'm going to be posting them and yeah i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching